Hey guys, it is Ryan here, and today we have made a simple crossbow. It is very powerful. It shoots about 10 feet away, just for what I've seen. And you can shoot anything with it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but I shot the crap out of that lemon. And I wanted to show you what it looks like. There's a little wedge there where you pull this um, rubber band back and it holds right there. And you and you simply just press this arrow in, aim at the target, and fire. It's simple as that, and I will not show you how to make it, but I'm going to tell you the steps to. Um, it's actually really cool. I like it. Sometimes it might not stick in whatever you shoot it at, and it might ricochet off. Um, and you want to be careful because if this hits you in the eye, it's not going to. You're not going to be a lucky person, that's for sure. Awesome, simple, and let's get to it. So this set this aside. So what we did at first was got a, got a couple, um, as you can see, popsicle sticks. I see the round tips. And basically just created a wedge. If I can take this apart. Created a wedge to... Place the other piece of the popsicle stick in. As you can see, that there's a little, 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 um, little hole that you can use to press into this side, uh, this piece of the toothpick. I mean, um, popsicle stick. And there's another little hole right there. You can see. Once you have done that, you're going to get your popsicle stick and stick it in there. As you can see, you just gotta bang it in there with anything. I'm using this knife that I used to create another wedge in it, which I'll show you in a second. So once you have done that, you pretty much have your entire part of your, you have part of the crossbow, but not fully built. So the second step for doing this is getting a rubber band. As you can see, I'm using these small packages. Um, you can get them anywhere. Really, I'm just using these small ones because they're a little bit more, what's the word, elastic. They last a little bit longer than the bigger ones, which are exposed to more sunlight and crinkle up and just break easily. As you can see, with this, you have to stretch it across right here and create a little wedge to place it in there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little um, hole right there at the bottom that you use to press the um, rubber band into. And then I created a wedge right here um, to pull the rubber band back and then um, secure it so that you can shoot. As you can see, I, pre I placed a piece of tape right there. And you do is you pull it back. And you have it cocked and ready to lo and loaded to shoot some f fire at blink. Really quick. It may look small, slow on the video, but that's just a video. It doesn't mean anything. So now, to make this, the, set, the third step is I got a popsicle stick, cut two, ha two halves, about... A half, an inch and a half, and glued them to the sides. So you can see there's three little pieces: one, two, and three. Um, there's a little, little um crater right here. Not a crater, but like in a little section where you can slide the toothpick in, which I will show you how to make them in a second. And then pull this back. Race in, and I'm gonna use another. I'm gonna use an orange, and shoot. Basically, when you're shooting this thing, it goes about. I don't know how fast, but I'm pretty sure it goes fast. I'm gonna shoot it from way up here, and hopefully, you'll get it. Measure it, of course. And the cool thing about it is that it's so simple to make, and only costs like a few bucks. Seriously, the way to make the ammunition is to get a simple um, toothpick and as you can see I have the double sided ones sharp 
pointy and pointy sharp. Anyways, you're going to get a cutter. The files for something in a little bit later. You're going to get some cutters or scissors, whatever you have, and just cut a little small piece of it off. So there's one, there's only one side of the pokey part, yeah. Now you can pull that off. And basically, you have made your own ammunition or arrows for your gun. See, there's four of them, all sharp. And once you have done that, you're basically done with the entire thing. And you have your own little crossbow. Shoot at anything you want, except for animals and human. You do not want to do that because I'm pretty sure your dad's going to step on it and hit you. So once more, let's try shooting it again. Fail. It just fell right off. <laughs> um, let's try shooting that. It goes right in. It's really fast. Let's try shooting it up from up here. Might not make it. Yeah. Sometimes it'll ricochet right off and fly. That's why you don't want anybody standing next to you or near you. Because if that flies, you can hit them in the eye or something that's not going to feel good for them. Um, besides that, everything is good with this thing. You basically can actually shoot little objects that you have. Targets or anything. And it's so simple and easy to make. You can shoot anything you want. You can also make flaming tips, which you just get some Vaseline and place it on the top and burn it with some fire. And be like a little um, flaming tip. Make another one for you. Stop. And shoot it. Dang, keep on flying. That's what it is. You might want to create a little roof on top by simply just placing two little sticks or something, placing on top so it won't fall as easily. That one hit this arrow and just flew off that nail. Well, you guys are done with making this. It looks awesome, super cool, and you don't have to waste any money at all. Only like a dollar or two. And to make any of these things, just tell me and I will gladly make it for you guys. I don't really care what I do. I'm just probably going to take a while to make it and probably not on video. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching this video. If you would like me to do any vlogs or challenges, please leave it in the comment below. And please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach at least 10 subscribers. That's all I really much need. If I can get higher than that, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, like I said already, tell me and I'll make them. Peace.